Hey guys, so I've been thinking recently why you should never buy a cheap or mid-range Samsung device uh, and I've been thinking to make a video on it here, uh, particularly as I uh, have been having some issues with my J5 Pro, which I recently bought. Uh, we did do a water test on the phone and uh, you know it did uh, have some issues, uh, but I think uh, really it illustrates how Samsung's fallen behind when it comes to the lower end phones and also the mid-range kind of phones in terms of software support. Uh, so I have tried pretty much everything with this phone, you know, I've tried putting it in uh, the rice, I've tried uh, putting it on the Chotec, you know, Chotec can usually boot up anything, uh, but no, you know, it's dead as a dodo, you can see uh, no life from the phone whatsoever, uh, which is bizarre because, you know, the old J3, uh, I think, was also waterproof, you know, it did have an issue at first, but then it came back from the dead. Uh, so I'm pretty gutted that this, uh, you know, is uh, pretty much paperweight now. And it illustrates to me how Samsung has fallen behind, uh, because if you look at the competition here, uh, we do have, for example, Xiaomi. Uh, this phone costs like about 100 euro. It's the 4X. I uh, have been having some fun with it, as you can see, uh, but I actually deleted the video file, so <laughs> uh, it was a durability test. Uh, it didn't fare too well on the back. Uh, but in terms of the water test, you can see no issues whatsoever, uh, like a couple of uh, weeks on here, it still works absolutely fantastic and uh, you know it's uh, still very usable and this phone is cheaper than the latest like J series from Samsung. Uh, another thing which is really annoying as well is the uh, A series phones, so we do have the A5, the A3 and uh, Papa Bear here, the A7. So what do they all have in common? They're all running like ancient software like Android Marshmallow. Uh, someone did mention that there was a Nugget uh, ROM available for the A series. So I did try and get it on the A3, but it nearly broke the device. Uh, I think it's like a Russian at the moment. So you can see, you know, in terms of the software support here, this is pretty terrible considering how, you know, expensive these phones are. At the end of the day, the A7 uh, wasn't a cheap device here. And you can see if we just go into the software here, uh, they're all running Android 6.0.1 which you know doesn't come with the latest uh, protection here when it's you know comes to software uh, and it illustrates how Samsung's not doing very well when it comes to the software support uh, for example if we compare with the iPhone uh, SE here this is uh, another kind of mid-range uh, phone from Apple and uh, with this one you are getting the uh, latest uh, iOS here I think it's iOS uh, 10. Point uh, zero point well 10.3.3 you can see we have an update already which I haven't even downloaded yet Apple is on the ball when it comes to software support and updates even for its cheaper phones uh, so I think Samsung could definitely learn a lot here from uh, Apple I think we also tested this one in uh, ice as well you know we froze it uh, we also did uh, some fun with the liquids and you can see it still works immaculately like months on uh, so pretty disappointed with Samsung's offerings in 2017, you know, in terms of the hardware and software support. Hopefully they'll improve in 2018. They do some amazing phones when it comes to the higher end, like the S8, you know, still among my favourites in terms of the build quality here. But they definitely need to, you know, not focus too much on the high end. Not everyone can afford, you know, a grand for a new phone like the Note 8 is going to cost. So uh, they definitely need to, you know, make sure that they're building solid entry level phones. Uh, so yeah, just a little random video here, so I'm just going to step up your game, uh, hopefully you know you will, we do uh, want to see some improvement here, and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one, cheers.